the steering is limited on how much it steers right in there so I'm just going to take some out of here but if you can see just here where the axle casting is basically all I'm going to be taking out is this bit directly here Right then, there we go. That's just those notches just cut out there. I'll be using these offset ones that I got from RC4WD. And that again will become clear as to why I will be doing that very, very shortly. Here is the stock link rod with the stock ends on them. So, if we go back to the page where we first made up those steering rods, just here in section 15, so we know how wide this needs to be. I'm just going to take off six millimeters. They are quite tough. I'm surprised the blade hasn't broken because I am using quite a lot of force. In fact, let's just use those and cheat. You can see that there's like 10 millimeters of thread on there. I think that's 3 8 in American money. And lay that down on there to make sure I get it right. And as we can see, yeah, I would say another three millimeters, maybe eighth of an inch. I'll use this side now. We don't need these um, ball joints in the steering arms these go in here like this because these have their own built in so what we'll be doing is we'll be just using that straight onto there that is on and now that link rod steering can go like that so from parts bag B, we're going to get these, which are 12s, zoom out a little bit. So that's taking this link rod slightly further away from the axle. This is a steering mod that uses mostly the Tami, all the Tamiya, um, parts the axle the hubs everything you can buy a new axle but this is for the people that are on a budget so that's quite okay now it's got full articulation this here is the shock absorber we have removed this side as you can see with that line so when this steering rod goes across like this, it goes closer and that link rod would have, the original link rod would have hit that a long, a long time before and this part of the RC4WD crank link hits this like a steering stop. Because any further this way and this tyre will touch the spring. And when you're on full lock, it will skip the tyre. How this link rod just stops on there. 
me zoomy zoomy a little bit more so that link rod just goes to there and that gives us a lot more steering angle now the reason I've swapped this spun it round 180 degrees is if you look at that this steering rod is now swinging this way and it's much easier to push that steering link at that angle rather than having this spun round and it being pivoted if this pivot point here was here because this ball joint is not quite in the center so that link rod there would be more of that angle so we take the, some of the angle out and it's almost parallel with this so with that said I don't like the servo saver because they are really really weak so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off I am just going to fit an alloy aluminum 25 tooth servo arm because that's what the Futaba takes but what I'm going to use is a collar that will simply fit in in there like that and then all I will do is use an ordinary bolt and that way so a six millimeter one from parts bag F and then it's not going to bottom out in that servo spindle great stuff so I'll pull that forward until that one I'm looking down straight down from above I'll show you a picture of that and we can see that that end of that is level with this line level with this line here and that is the steering done